The 16-year-old vote is something extreme left teachers desire. The brain is not yet matured and judgment and decision making is skew. It is a bit like the judgment of left-wing supporters. One meme circulated by Zeitgeist Movement claims that capitalism is no better than communism for housing, saving and labor forces. It is valid for someone to assert it, but simply not true when statistics analyze it. Like the thought bubble surrounding giving 16-year-olds the vote, it is not a good idea, not because 16-year-olds are not responsible, but irresponsible behavior in children is expected and manageable as children, while irresponsible behavior in adults is a problem for the entire community. There is something called a zero-sum game. The theory of the zero-sum game is that inputs and outputs are the same. So workers eat and produce, or bosses eat, but not both. But the theory is too simplistic. It is applied to communism and capitalism and suggests neither matters. But there is something under capitalism called wealth creation. With wealth creation, workers work and everyone gets fed. The problem under communism is that wealth creation gets restricted. Under capitalism, wealth creation can be maximized. It is capitalism which prevents poverty. Simple illustrations include China in the 60s with China of the new millennium. In the 60s and 50s, drought struck China, starved tens of millions of people to death. Today, millions are getting wealthy. In Australia, the Hawke Keating ALP governments were 5% per annum behind the Howard government for average worker earnings, with the Australian Labour Party constricting workers' pay and Conservatives growing workers' pay. But the meme goes on. There is a theorem of the economic concept of externalities, which suggests that the meme is correct. The theorem is unsupported by reality.